Hello and welcome to TechWatch, the EdTech video news program produced by eSchool News. I'm Dennis Pierce. The chairman of Arkansas Senate Education Committee says the state needs a, quote, geek squad to help promote more uses of technology in the classroom. Jim Argue, a Democrat from Little Rock, said he thinks the state's education department needs to find more ways to promote technology among its school systems. Argue's comments come as state lawmakers reviewed a study on efforts to use more technology in Arkansas classrooms. The study cited several districts in the state that are using technology to help teach students, including a program at the Dover School District where students produce podcasts about various lessons. But it also said more professional development and technical assistance are needed for teachers to use technology more often statewide. More EdTech news is straight ahead. This is the student who goes to the school that partnered with Dell, who customized a Dell Intelligent Classroom that revolutionized their learning environment so teachers can focus on what's important to them, their students. Because Dell creates technology solutions with one goal in mind, yours, Dell. Two Pacific Northwest states have taken significant steps to control cyberbullying, which involves threats or taunts sent electronically. Washington Governor Christine Gregoire signed a bill on May 9th requiring the state's school systems to amend their bullying policies to include electronic acts. Districts would work with the state superintendent's office to create these new policies, and they're also required to educate parents about cyberbullying. In Oregon, a similar measure sailed through the State House, passing by a vote of 56 to 0 on May 7th. But neither Oregon nor Washington has banned malicious posts and videos created when students are off school property. Whether schools can regulate cyberbullies when they aren't on school property touches on freedom of speech issues, legal experts say. More South Carolina students can take classes not offered at their school and earn graduation credits online under an expansion of the state's virtual schools program signed in a ceremony on May 17th. Governor Mark Sanford says the new law represents a chance to equalize educational opportunities among poor parts of South Carolina and more affluent areas of the state. Under the program, up to 3,000 students will be able to take courses online each semester, earning up to three credits a year and up to 12 credits total toward high school graduation. The legislation expands a program under which nearly 2,000 students in 11 school districts participated this past school year. The expanded program is expected to cost the state $3.6 million next year. In other virtual schooling news, instructors who oversee online courses for Montana students must be state certified elementary or high school teachers, the state's Board of Public Education has decided. The board unanimously approved a rule on May 18th spelling out that requirement, doing so over the objections of school administrators and parents. Backed by the state teachers union, the new rule requires that all distance education be supervised by a certified elementary or high school teacher endorsed in the discipline being taught. The board also voted to delay implementation of the rule to as late as July 1st, 2009. Board members said they wanted time to tweak the proposal and give the state legislature time to pay for it. There was no estimate of what it might cost to provide certified teachers in Montana school districts to oversee the online courses. South Dakota's Board of Regents is thinking of converting the state's public university campuses to laptop tablet environments to keep pace with what's happening in the state's high schools, according to Regents Executive Director Tad Perry. Only Dakota State University is at that point right now, Perry said. With more elementary and high school students having access to laptops, he said, it occurred to the regents that the state's colleges might not be preparing education students in the same fashion. Governor Mike Rounds started a program to provide a dollar in state money for every two dollars invested by local school districts toward the purchase of laptops for high school students. About one-fourth of the state's school districts and 9,600 students will be part of the laptop program this fall. 
This is the student who goes to the school that partnered with Dell, who customized a Dell Intelligent Classroom that revolutionized their learning environment so teachers can focus on what's important to them, their students. Because Dell creates technology solutions with one goal in mind, yours, Dell.